Mr. Singh, I too believe in love and courage, and that's why we need to have a talk about coyotes in your Canada Goose jacket. On November 18th, you tweeted an image of yourself wearing one of the popular jackets. As one person who believes in a compassionate Canada to another, I'm going to hope that you don't know what went into that coat. The filling is down, the feathers of birds, and the trim is fur, the skin of coyotes. None of the animals involved willingly gave up their lives for fashion. I won't go into graphic detail, nor will I show you graphic images of how the animals are treated. A simple search on Google or a look at recent news can do that for you, should you wish. You can always visit makeforhistory.com. But suffice it to say, the coyotes, who themselves are capable of love and courage, are caught in inherently inhumane traps, held against their will, and killed. Did you know that both parents in a coyote family are involved in pup rearing, and that they're monogamous? Or that coyotes are thriving across North America because of changes we've made to the ecosystem? How about that when, properly implemented, livestock operators using coexistence methods can experience virtually no depredation on their properties? Mr. Singh, you're an intelligent, compassionate man. I'm asking you to make a compassionate choice on behalf of the animals and ditch the Canada Goose jacket. If you want high quality, made in Canada, and warm outerwear, don't stick with a company owned by an American investment firm started up by a failed Republican candidate for president. Instead, check out Woolly Outerwear, which uses no animals and contributes to animal conservation with every purchase. I'll even go one step further. If you commit to ditching the coyote fur trimmed, goose down filled jacket, I'll buy you a Woolly Outerwear coat to replace it. You stand for the people around you with love and courage, Mr. Singh. Please do the same for the wildlife killed needlessly who also call this land home.